frostbite. In the heart of November, when the first frost kissed the earth, an enigmatic online game named Frostbite surfaced on the dark web. Whispered about in hushed tones on obscure forums, it was said to be playable only when the cold fingers of winter clasped the land. Four friends, avid gamers and thrill-seekers, huddled around a flickering screen as the final leaves of autumn spiraled to their demise outside. The game loaded. Its hauntingly beautiful landscape of ice and desolation beckoned them forward. Welcome to Frostbite, a disembodied voice whispered as their avatars materialized in a world of perpetual winter. The rules were simple. Survive the elements, solve the riddles, and reach the end. But as they delved deeper, the lines between their reality and the virtual frost began to blur. The first sign was the cold. The room chilled unnaturally, their breaths turning to mist as they played. Alex, the skeptic, laughed it off. Just the game messing with our heads, he claimed, wrapping a blanket tighter around his shoulders. Riddles led them through frozen forests and over treacherous ice-glazed mountains. Each puzzle solved unlocked deeper, more intricate parts of the game. The world of Frostbite was a masterpiece of paradoxes, beautiful yet deadly, enticing yet terrifying. Then the game began to whisper to them, even when they weren't playing. In the dead of night, Emma heard the howling wind from the game her dreams filled with the endless white of the game's tundra. In class, Michael thought he saw figures in the distance, silhouettes of the creatures they had encountered within Frostbite. Are we playing the game, or is the game playing us? Sarah asked, her face pale as she recounted a feeling of frost on her skin while bathing, the water inexplicably turning cold. They should have stopped, but the game called to them with the promise of answers and the lure of completion. Each challenge conquered made them feel invincible until the game presented them with the final riddle, one that promised to unlock the secrets of Frostbite and grant them mastery over the Winter Realm. The riddle was a mirror of their journey a maze of choices and consequences that seemed to reflect their deepest fears and desires. As they navigated the labyrinth, the room's temperature plummeted to a biting chill. Their fingers numb, they worked together, whispering theories and strategies. With a triumphant click, the riddle was solved, and the game congratulated them. You have proven your worth, the frost has claimed you, the voice declared. The screen flashed a blinding white, and then darkness. When they awoke, they were no longer in Alex's room. They stood in a vast, snowy field, the horizon stretching endlessly. The air was biting, a real cold that sunk into their bones. Did we beat the game? Michael's voice trembled. But there was no sense of victory, only the stark realization that they were trapped in the very world they sought to conquer. Around them, the landscape of Frostbite was no longer pixels and programmed codes. It was a living, breathing, and unyielding reality. They moved forward, not out of desire, but necessity, driven by the primal urge to survive. Days blended into nights marked only by the simplest shift of light in the bleak ski. They found food, oddly familiar yet on Kenny, and shelter in caves that whisper it of unseen inhabitants. The game had become their world, and they, unwilling inhabitants. As they huddled together for warmth, they pondered their fate. Were they still players, or had they become mere characters in someone else's game? In the real world, Frostbite vanished from the internet, becoming a legend as fleeting as the frost that heralded its arrival. Screens went dark, the cold retreated, but for the four friends, 
the game was never over. Their last connection to the world they left behind was the hope that next November, when the frost returned, the gateway would reopen. Until then, they would live in the frozen world they had so eagerly sought to explore, a chilling reminder of their curiosity's price. As the frost claimed the land once more, a new riddle appeared somewhere in the vastness of the internet, waiting for the next players to discover the game of frostbite.